Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you joining me. I am using my uh, For the Love of Homemade kits for this collection and a cut file from the lovely Paige Evans. Like, I saw this cut file by used by someone, I'm always bad at giving credit, um, someone that did it, uh, something similar to this. Even though I'm not doing anything different than most people use your cut files, I am going to be backing the flowers um, with this great rainbow um, pattern paper. This collection is actually from a paper pad at Michael's from Recollections, and I think it's called Splash of Color. It is normally in the scrapbook aisle, and it's $19.99, but use a coupon and pick it up. It is filled with all rainbow kinds of uh, pattern paper if you have a Michael's near you, and all of them are, not all of them, most of them are um, uh, foiled as you see the background paper. And now that rainbow foiled paper was too beautiful not to use. And I was trying to figure out a way to use a majority of it. Like I started off trying to make a big title on it and I just didn't like the way it was because the foil was just too much. And I thought I was going to cut it up and use it for like a large title. Um, but then too much of that paper was going to be wasted. So um, I was searching on Instagram and found inspiration by using this cut file because I have plenty of mini stuff to um, document because my daughter is in love with um, Minnie Mouse and Princess Elsa at this point in her life. It's Elsa and Minnie everything. Um, so I, what I did was to back it now on white, the whole thing, and it kind of pushes, you know, obviously covers up a lot of the foiled paper and it's manageable in this regard. And I have this whole like f rainbow bouquet of flowers for a mini's bow. I'm just coloring in some areas with these dual chip, um, like bright colored um, Tombow markers so that I didn't have to fussy cut all the little foliage areas because I was going to go a little batty with that one, but I definitely did the flowers. Um, so I'm just doing it in bright, bright colors. You see me using pink and teal and that apple green, and I love the way it turned out. And I'm going to put it on a slant as well, and I put like a little paper clip that's like a planner item. It doesn't make it to the final layout because I do take it off and then start using some happy scrapping um, epoxy flares instead, so that bow does leave. Um, the picture I'm scrapping is um, from her Minnie Mouse birthday party for her second birthday. Um, it was Minnie Mouse everything and classic Minnie Mouse. It was the red, yellow, black, and white uh, color scheme for everything. But I printed my picture in black and white because there's just going to be too much competing colors. Now also what's at Michael is this amazing rainbow sticker um, collection that's also near, it's not also, it's um, near in the middle aisles next to like the um, hot buy paper pads are these collections that coordinate with some of the releases that were from this um, quarter and it's nothing but rainbow stickers and so since I already had this cut file I didn't really have ephemera that necessarily went with this collection or anything but I thought I could make these stickers. I do cl uh, cluster a bunch on the photo since it's black and white and I use all of these rainbow stickers. Those corner ones for instance, those uh, what do they call them, um, photo corners, were rainbow, the stickers, and I'm layering them up. And then a few, most of them are on, keep in mind, clear, and some of them are on cardstock. So in order to make more ephemera, the ones that were clear that I wanted to use, I put on white copy paper and cut it out. So you'll see me do that for the one that says hooray that'll be going under the photo. I definitely do that with it. And then I'm just gathering up a few other embellishments from my desk that I thought would work well with the colors, like that yellow fabric bow that's like a Maggie Holmes, um, that bleak, black bleak, black sequin chunky heart is from an old pink paisley, oh no, I think pink fresh collection. And then I'm using uh, my thicker collection. This is one that I picked up at Tuesday morning from a Vicky Booten line, I want to say. And it'll say fun memories in black over that rainbow um Cardstock. So here I am using one of those clear stickers and cutting it out of just copy paper, or maybe I put it on cardstock. But I definitely wanted to use it because if it was clear sitting on the foil, it would lose its color. So backing it on the white helped out um, tremendously to make it a die cut piece. I even did this style, um, this trick in my Happy Planner recently when I wanted a clear sticker that was going to go over something that was patterned already. Um, put it on white cardstock and it makes it an instant die cut piece. So I'm scattering some of these colorful rainbow hearts around the floral um, aspect of the layout. And do I do a few more things? I do a little bit of journaling to definitely just mark that it's my sister and Valentina during her Minnie Mouse birthday party and the date. Um, so this, and it's always funny. Here's a question for you on how you date your pictures or, or layouts because I always 
tend to want to date it the day I made it, but then I make no um, kind of notion to when the picture was taken because the picture was taken, you know, I know the date of that, which is probably like two, three months ago, but I scrapped it today. Tell me how you date because I've always wondered that. Like, do I date it the day of the photo was taken or the day I made the layout? That is always something I struggle with and I think I usually have just kept the day I made the layout, but then I have no idea when the picture is from, and I feel like I need to go back and and mark that because I kind of feel like I don't know how old she is in certain pictures, and I want to know. <laughs> Such a silly question. Anyways, <laughs> I love the way it came out, and there's the happy happy scrapping um, epoxy stickers that I used, or epoxy flare, the one that says happy in yellow and lovely in black, and I just simply love the way this turned out. Very cheerful, very bright. I love it in my album. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.